Hi. So in this question, what we have, we have uh, around four equilateral triangles. So big equilateral. Let's name A B. There is a point D on this A B side, and there is a point E on this A C side. D E F is again an equilateral triangle, and B D, let's say B D P, again an again an equilateral triangle. So we have in total four equilateral triangles. A B D and D E right. Now we are given with the areas of two equilateral triangles that is twenty and this five. We need to find the area of this D E F equilateral triangle. The question is amazing. Let's let's uh, use some similar triangle. Clearly D E F is an equilateral triangle. Right, so we can say that these two sides will be x, will also be x. They both will be equal, right? This angle is clearly 60. This angle is also 60. Let's say this angle is also 60. Let's assume this angle is. Obviously, this angle FPC that should be 120 minus. And again, this angle that is BFD that should be 120 minus because. Uh, angle DFC is 60 plus 3 and by the sum of angles of a triangle is 180 degrees you can say that angle BDF that will be 60. right now uh, if you consider triangle BDF and triangle this thing uh, CFE DF and triangle CF as you can see they both will be congruent because there all the angles are equal and one side that is df this is equal to fp so these two triangles will be congruent and triangle cf now if they are congruent by symmetry we can also say that this triangle ad this will also be congruent to these three triangles right so these three triangles are congruent and hence they will have the same now let's use a concept that similar triangle areas of uh, two similar triangles ratio of areas of two similar triangles is actually equals to the square of ratios of their sides right so now what we have proved that triangles are common. or in another sense but we can say that this e side right that should be equal to b right that should be equal to b right now let's assume this e side okay let's assume this side is a unit so as we have proved that this is also a unit Clearly, these two triangles are equilateral, one with area 5 and the other with area 20. So, as we know, uh, areas of two similar triangles, ratio of areas of two similar triangles, actually the square of their sides. So, if its side is A, clearly 20 is 4 times 5, right? So, its area is 4 times, that means its side should be 2 times. So, side of this uh, equilateral triangle, that should be 2A. Right now, as you can see, this is 2a, this is a, and this angle is also 60 degree. Or we can say, let's proceed it with a units more and let's join this. Now, this will be an equilateral triangle. Let me name it. Let's say this is the QR. Right, so this PQR will be an equilateral triangle because QR is 2a, PQ is 2a, and this angle between them is 60 degree. So, we can say, let's say this point is S. So area of triangle P Q S that will be simply half of area of triangle Q R as S is clearly the midpoint and P Q R and P Q let's say this point is T P Q R and P Q T they both are equilateral triangle with same side so that should be half of 20 that means this is 10 so practically what we have got area of P Q S that is equals to 10 right so let me write it white color fine area this will be 10 this will also be 10 this will also be 10 now we are left with this question mark right now let's consider the bigger triangle a b as area of a b c upon area of let's say p q t by symmetry because previously we have proved that all these three triangles are congruent so if this is this p side that should be equal to bf and that should also be equal to a Right. or in another sense uh, 
Now we can say that a side of this ABC that is simply uh, from here we can this side is A, this is 2A, right? So by because they were split, uh, they were congruent triangles, so this side should also be 2A. Or you can say area of uh, side of ABC, or we can say AB that is equals to B, that is equals to C, that should be right. So area of ABC upon area of PQT that should be equal to uh, the square uh, ratio of the squares of their sides that is 9a square upon PQT. You can say this is 4k, and we can also say that this is a b, and we know the value of area of PQT that is. So we can say that area of this thing this implies this simply implies area of triangle ABC that will be nothing but 9 times 5 that is 45 square unit right. So that will simply implies that let's say this point is P which we have already taken this is S and let's say this point is M. So area of triangle PSM that will be simply area of ABC minus this 10 this 10 and this 10 or you can say minus 30 and since we have calculated area of a, uh, P, uh, ABC that was simply 45 so answer should be 45 minus 30 that is simply 50 square unit right so area of this central triangle which we need to find that will be 15 square units 